Forget gurus. Forget anyone claiming to be an online business expert without going through the challenges of entrepreneurship themselves. The Real Money, Real Business podcast is here to prove the best insights in online business comes from your fellow online business builders. We dig into stories of entrepreneurs selling their business on the Empire Flippers marketplace so that you can learn how they made their business profitable, how they overcame obstacles, and what lessons they learned in their online journey. If you want to take your business and your knowledge to the next level, you've come to the right podcast. Let's get started. Hey everyone, Vinny here with another great business to discuss on this episode of the Real Money, Real Business podcast. Today's guest is Christopher and he's selling his Amazon FBA business on the Empire Flippers marketplace. So welcome to the show, Christopher, and how are you doing today? Thanks, Vinny. I'm doing great. I'm looking forward to talking to you today about our business. Fantastic. I'm also looking forward to talking more about it. Just before we dive in, I'm going to go over a brief summary of the business for our listeners. So it's an Amazon FBA in the personal care niche created in January 2014. The average monthly revenue for the business is $83,103 and makes an average of $18,314 per month in net profit. The assets included in the sale are the Amazon Seller Central account with 13 SKUs, 6 domains and all their respective site content and files, an email list with 2,000 subscribers, 7 trademarks, 5 unreleased podcasts about the top brand ready to publish, 4 Facebook accounts, SOPs, style guides and supplier contracts and relationships. The US Seller account will be included in the sale and any other marketplace account listings will be included as a listing transfer. For anyone listening, you can visit empireflippers.com slash marketplace and search for listing 47741 to learn more about the business, or you can unlock this listing to start your due diligence if you're interested in purchasing this asset. So now that I've given a general overview of the business, Christopher, can you tell us a little bit about your background in building and running online businesses? This is actually my first online business, but I have been a lifelong entrepreneur. Right. Awesome. So can you tell me a bit about how you came up with the idea to start this particular business? Sure. So I had actually just exited a, another business that we had started and built and then had interest in and ended up selling. And my wife had a dream of moving back to Europe where she was from so we could raise our kids before they were school aged around her family. So I was ready for a business that required no employees because I had a lot of employees at my previous business that I'd owned and operated, and we wanted to be able to run it from everywhere or anywhere. So we landed on the Amazon FBA business model. Right. That's fantastic. For the listeners who are out there who are thinking about trying to get into buying and selling online businesses, why do you think Amazon FBA is great for those interested? Well, the world now more than ever is moving towards ordering almost everything online through Amazon or through some sort of app. And this industry continues to grow year over year and allows you to compete with the world's largest brands, basically on the virtual store shelf of the world's largest retailer. Yeah, that makes sense. Definitely. Just want to talk a bit more about your business in terms of, because I mean, it sells 13 SKUs in the personal care niche. Why did you choose this niche in particular? Well, we landed on the personal care products and supplement niche because we realized we wanted to work with U.S.-based manufacturing partners and consumables allowed repeat buyers and subscribe and save customers. So after we acquired a customer, they use our product, they love their product, they continued to come back. And that actually is a wonderful thing because it lowers your advertising costs and it makes a cheerleader or a person that's a fan of your brand and tells their friends and you end up with more organic sales because of that. My wife also had a background, so she had a lot of firsthand experience with a lot of our target market. And that's really helped us get started. And it kind of just made everything a lot more approachable when we first started and began. Sounds great. Considering the products with really highly rated product range and diversified revenue streams, why are you selling the business at this time instead of keeping or growing it? Well, we recently moved back to the States and my business mentor came to me and we've been discussing doing a accounting firm roll up and selling the business would allow me to bring capital to the table for this new endeavor. Yeah, that makes sense. That sounds great. Looking back on your experience, is there anything that you learned from building this business that you might apply to future sites or businesses? 
a lot of my other businesses I've been in before this have been more traditional businesses. So when we entered the Amazon FBA business model, we started to realize that having as much software automation that we could possibly get our hands on made our business very easy to run. So the next business, no matter what field it, it will be in, or for anybody that's going into business, whether it's this one or any other type of business model, I would just recommend as much software automation as you can possibly get your hands on from the start. Go ahead and test out a couple different pieces of software that can automate your business as much as possible. You just pay a monthly fee and you don't have to worry about that part of your business anymore. Yeah, that's really solid advice. You've actually answered a couple of the questions that I was going to ask you. So I'm just going to move on to asking you about marketing. What do you currently do in terms of marketing? So we really focus on the Amazon advertising. When Amazon has any type of new beta program for advertising, we try it out. And the tried and true, typical pay-per-click Amazon advertising has been the thing that's landed us the most customers. So that is where all of our money is spent when it comes to our Amazon Europe marketplaces. Right. That's great. I just want to talk about the opportunities for potential buyers. I mean, if you were to keep the business, what are some ways that you would try to grow it? Let's see. There's probably a few things that come to mind. I would definitely continue expanding our product variety to Amazon Europe and Amazon Canada. And I would launch the applicable products that were compliant for Amazon Australia and other international Amazon marketplaces, because Amazon has done something really wonderful recently to allow your previous product reviews that are in the North American marketplace to automatically populate in these new international Amazon marketplaces, which makes launching a new product so much easier. Another thing I would do is that we have three products that have already gone through R&D at our formulator and our manufacturing company that we use the most here in the U.S. that are ready to put a purchase order in for. So I would continue to just look at what the current market is for those three products that have already gone through R&D, make sure there's still a share to be had in the Amazon marketplace. And if so, I would launch one to three of those new products into the marketplace. Also, The Walmart marketplace is not something we've talked about so far, Vinny, but it is an asset that does come along with the sale of our business. And recently, the logistics costs have been lowered for the Walmart marketplace. So a potential buyer can look into the possibility of continuing on that marketplace and making that a profitable marketplace. Another hidden thing that we have that I'm not even sure if is on the listing right now on Empire Flippers is that we do have four to five shelved products that have a four-star average product review that we just sold out of and decided to just liquidate to take the money. And they could be relaunched by somebody that has an advanced Amazon strategy and possibly be winners again for the new buyer. Right. So it sounds like there's a lot of room for growth in terms of expanding to different marketplaces, expanding this Walmart store, and also relaunching maybe some of these retired products. Definitely. Cool. Just about the work required, can you describe the amount and type of work that you do on the site for maintenance? Yeah, for the business that's being sold for Amazon and Amazon Europe, it's only about eight to 10 hours of repetitive tasks that you do on the computer. Everything can be handled from the computer. If you don't want to pick up the phone to talk to the suppliers, you can just reach them on the computer. And all of our suppliers are in the United States. So if the buyer is based in the United States, they won't have to deal with with all the different time changes in working with somebody overseas. Mm -hmm. And what skills or requirements are there for someone who's not familiar with the niche or the business model? I guess just getting familiar with Amazon Seller Central and the Amazon pay-per-click advertising platform, talking with the existing manufacturers that we're going to be introducing the new buyer to on a monthly basis to discuss new ideas or just what's going on in the industry, and just getting a basic understanding of the personal care and supplement industry are things that are important for the new buyer. Of course, these are things that we'll be able to instruct them and guide them during the migration period. And it kind of sounds a little bit difficult if you're not familiar with any of these things, but once you get your head around them, it's really not that difficult at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. With regards to risks, what do you think are the biggest risks with this business that a buyer should be aware of? Empire Flippers puts a standard set of risks and bullet points that they list on every Amazon FBA business for sale in their marketplace. So I just encourage potential buyers to go to our listing, just take a look at that bullet point list because I think they can describe it on the listing a lot better than I can on this interview. Outside of that, I feel like when we started this business, establishing our branded products was by far the biggest risk. And that's something that we've already done for the new potential buyer. 
Awesome. Okay. Just a few wrap-up questions, touching on a few personal side. How much support are you offering buyers? I think we'd be open to what Empire Flippers recommends as the support that we should give the potential buyer to make sure they're successful in the transition. That's great. Would you commit to a non-compete? Yes, we would commit to a non-compete. Great. And are you open to negotiating something like an earnout? I think we'd be open to discuss that if the right offer were to be presented. Okay. So there's just a few deeper questions that I want to ask you here. Is there anyone who inspired you while you were building this business that our listeners might like as well? So this might be like communities or YouTubers or other people who are just really great resources for Amazon FBA. Well, I remember reading Tim Ferriss, the four hour work week, 10 or 12 years ago. And at the time I was operating a business that was requiring probably 60 to 80 hours a week of my time. And I just really wanted to, at some point in my life, be able to operate a business that I could run from my computer, just like Tim always talked about in his books. And it felt really good to be able to build something that's been successful and being able to accomplish that dream to be able to run the business from a computer, even when we were living in Europe and traveling. Yeah, I think that book has been a bit of a Bible for a lot of people in this industry, for sure. Were there any software or tools that really helped you at the start of running this business? I really think that the online Amazon dashboards like Hello Profit or Managed by Stats, we've used uh, both, are really the most important thing that somebody can implement early on. At a push of a button, you can see a scoreboard of how your business is doing without having to pull all those cumbersome Amazon reports that are sometimes difficult to decipher when you're first getting started. So Hello Profit, Managed by Stats, I think Seller Legend, any of those online, real-time Amazon dashboards, what I would recommend. Great. Just a last question for you then. Putting yourself in the shoes of a buyer, why do you think this is a business worth buying? Well, you're getting four brands that have established brand recognition that are brand registered and a large amount of repeat customer. We also have tangible diversity in sales over multiple Amazon marketplaces and a consistent track record of earnings. It's a very safe business as far as business acquisition goes. Excellent. Is there anything else that you'd like to share that you think I might have missed? No, I just really am excited to find a buyer that's going to be able to take this and be successful with it. We really want to see the new buyer be successful in the transition and in the future. And the last business I sold, I just had lunch with the two guys that I sold it to about seven years ago. And I'd love to be able to just see the business continue to thrive and grow if that's what the new buyer wanted. Awesome. Well, we hope that your business gets picked up soon. Thank you very much, Vinny. I appreciate the interview today. And it's been nice working with you guys at Empire Flippers. All right, everyone. Thanks for listening. To learn more and see if this listing has already been sold, head over to empireflippers.com slash marketplace and search for listing number 47741. If you're watching this on YouTube, click the link in the description to go straight to the listing. Once you've unlocked the listing, you'll be given everything you need to know about this business. So until next time, enjoy your digital journey.